Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial on this eye look right here. It's just a really super quickie um, review, more or less, because I really just wanted to kind of test out this copycat beauty. I got the palette and then I got the full um, Marc Jacobs dupe eye brush set that they had so gonna get into that in just a second but if you guys are new here i just want to say welcome to the video and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here um welcome my name is lauren jade i'm 57 i have mature crepey wrinkly skin with hooded eyes that are slightly downturned so my channel deals with working with crepey skin and trying to always come up with things to rock these hooded eyes and i know we all have different you know, eye shapes and different levels of hoodedness, but I'm hoping that some of my tips and tricks um, will work for you guys. You might have to tweak them a little bit depending on, you know, your level of hoodedness, but I'm hoping you guys can pick up a few things so you guys can rock your hooded eyes too. And if you are new, I would love to have you join me. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. That way YouTube notifies you each and every time I upload. All right, so with that said, let's talk about what this eye look is on. And this is it. And I literally created this in like a five minutes, maybe six minutes. Um, if I wouldn't have been, you know, kind of talking through it. It was super quick, it was super easy. All right, so this is the look right here. And this is the palette that I used. It is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Soft Glam Dupe. But they have so many dupes on their website. And I'm going to show you um, a couple things real quick because I do want to talk about this this brand here so um apparently it is cruelty free um this was like i think i want to say ten dollars eleven dollars i'm not sure but they have coupons all the time you get like 10 20 percent off but still amazing deal um so this is what the um oh there goes my brush this is what the soft glam palette looks like here so let's take a look at these side by side so i'm gonna hold these up here i think i'll do it like this so you guys can see i'm gonna Get a little closer in here. So this is it. So you guys will hear my thoughts um, at the end of this, um, at the end of the video. Just stay tuned and you guys will hear my final thoughts on this palette. So yeah, that's it. So without further ado, if you guys want to see how I created this look and see this palette in action. And I'm going to actually pull up this copycat to beauty here real quick. Just to kind of give you guys a little bit more info. So... All right, so this is their website, and my iPad's um, pretty beat up, but you can see they've got um, palettes for the Urban Decay um, Nakeds. They got the Cherry. They've got the Chroma Bar. They've got the Kat Von D Anniversary Special. Um, so they list here like all the different um, palettes that they have, and they also have, I think, lashes, and they have, gosh, what else? They have lips products, they've got makeup palettes, they've got eyes, you know, eyeshadow palettes, they've got all sorts of things. So on the makeup palettes, let's see what they've got. So uh, most of these retail for $12. Um, you've got some here that are $9. You've got the um, Huda Beauty ones. You've got some... Um, You've got some Too Faced ones here, so I'm not sure if you guys can see. I know my iPad is so beat up, but you get the idea. They've got a ton of stuff. They even have um, some of the Tarte ones here. So, yeah, and they're all literally like $12, $12.00. Nine dollars, and this is copycatbeauty.com that I am on. So, yeah, check out that site, and then you guys can kind of see for yourself. So, um, I'm gonna keep this intro short, and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell right next to it. And if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching, and let's get right into this video. I just want to review these, this um, brand for you guys and test out the brushes and just kind of give you guys the scoop on this brand here. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to set my eyes using the P. Louise um, color brush and I'm just using my Max Paint Pot and Soft Ochre just to quickly set here. I haven't really been using my base. I'm trying to kind of hang on to that although i'm really happy that morphe is now selling p louise because then i don't have to order it from the uk and pay for shipping but of course they are completely sold out um last time i checked a couple days ago of some of the concealer brands um i didn't um 
hop on the site fast enough simply because I have mine here and I got the shade 02 rumor so I'm wanting to try a couple other shades so I'm waiting for them to just kind of restock um all right now I'm going to go ahead and set this base P Louise style and I'm going to grab a shade from the palette here and this one is the one that's like the orange soda and I'm going to use this big fat shader brush these are the Marc Jacobs dupes this one is the I've only had these brushes like a couple days and so far the numbers are wearing off so I can't see but it's the this is the I set the Marc Jacobs dupe I set so very very dusty um, they remind me very much just from looking at them um, of the um, old the bad habit palettes if you guys remember it was literally like a Sahara Desert when you like would dip into there there'd be so much you know fallout and just like you know but those shadows blended so you know they were very creamy it's a very smooth formula very creamy very blendable but a lot like the Sahara Desert so I'm just gonna tap this in placing it everywhere where I would shadows Placing it exactly where I'm going to place shadows, I should say. And I'm going to use this anyway as my kind of transition shade. So just taking this, the inner corner here, patting it in the middle on the socket, and then all the way like in the outer corner here, a little bit on the lid. And next up, I'm going to grab, let's see, I need to, all right, I'm going to go ahead and bronze my crease. You guys know that's a staple step with me in all of my tutorials so i'm going to and because i want to test out these brushes i'm just going to use the brush that it came with and this one is the again this is the mark jacobs dupe and wow it's already wore off on this one well that didn't last very long i literally had these brushes like like three days and i've just been playing in them and testing them out and stuff and it's already wore off. Okay, well, that, that's fine. So I'm going to grab the Hula Bronzer. As always, you guys know I like to bronze my crease here. This is a little bit of a bigger, fluffier brush than what I like to use for bronzing my crease. But that's okay. We will make this work. Just taking this into the upper socket. Going to brush a little bit up towards the brow here and then into the nose contour so so a lot of like kind of dusty when you tap your brush in that's okay all right i'm going to take this on this outer corner here as always and i'm not going to really kind of talk through this like i said i just kind of want to test out this product and just kind of create a look just kind of see what I can come up with here on the fly I'm gonna go into this one right here which is the Sienna shade and I'm gonna grab I'm gonna kind of act like I'm putting in my fake crease with this shade here. Kind of wing that out. I am going to kind of put in my crease but I'm also going to switch brushes here in just a second here and you guys know I have a lot of tutorials on how I create my little fake crease and I usually explain every single thing in detail but like I said this particular video we're just kind of really just trying to you know test out this palette here so we give you guys a little idea of what this brand is all about you 
And then I'm going to go back into that first fluffy brush, and I'm going to grab a little bit more of that orange soda shade, which was the first one that I used to kind of set the base with. And I'm just going to kind of go right over top here. All right, I'm going to go back into that Sienna shade, and I'm going to take this. This is the um, G, this is the number 17. It's the angled, the angled brush that came with the set. And I'm going to just kind of put in my little fake crease line here. Really kind of carving out that socket. Go into this shade here. This is the lightest one, and um, I don't remember what Anastasia called that one. You can see a lot of the kickback here, a lot like the Sahara Desert. But so far, everything is a blending out super smoothly. I'm not having any issues at all with blend. I'm just going to put this up by the brow area right here. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more of that orange soda shade here. All right, now I'm going to take that, I think I'm just going to use the same brush here. I'm going to go into that same white shade there. I think it's called glistening, I want to say, but I don't have the palette right next to me. And I'm just going to go on the lid here. So pretty so far. Um, very happy with everything. I mean, everything is just a blending super nicely, as you can see. All right, I'm going to take just a little bit more of that Sienna shade, and I'm going to go back on this brush here. This is the number 13. You can see, like, the numbers have already wore off, and the lettering has wore off already, and I've only had them, like, like two or three days. I'm just going to go back in and put in a little, put in that color again. Just kind of deepen it up one more time here. Kind of outlining that shape here. Just kind of doing a winged out type of a shape. You can just see how beautiful it is. I didn't even use a mixing medium or anything here. You can see how just so nice and shiny and so pretty. This literally was like an effortless blend. This was like probably my Super quickie look. All right, so I'm going to do a little tiny baby wing, and then I may pop on some lashes. So I'm going to grab, I think this shade right here is the Cypress Umber shade. I'm going to grab a little bit of this and a little bit of this shade right here, which I believe would be the Mulberry shade. And I'm going to use the brush that it came with instead of my normal flat definer brush, if I can, because I said I was going to stick to these brushes. And I don't have a flat definer brush in this set that I got, so I'm going to use this one. It's the number 17, little angled brush here. And you guys have heard me kind of talk through this, like, so many times. I feel like you guys know the drill at this point, so I'm going to not talk through this and just kind of Get this wing on here.
So yeah, this is it. And I'm really super impressed, you guys. Like, I did this look in like, like, you know, five, six minutes. I mean, it was pretty much an effortless blend all the way through. And you can see there's some pop with the um, shimmers and I didn't even use a mixing medium. The only fallout I had was on the black shade when I um, dipped into it just to kind of do the wing, but that could have just been me, you know, being in a hurry because these false eyelashes take a couple minutes to just pop on. They don't just like pop on in two seconds. So yeah, that is, that's it. And uh, all right, guys, that completes the look. I did pop on some false eyelashes. I'd like to say that I just kind of threw them on, just kind of popped them on in two seconds, but they actually take a few minutes. Um, but other than that, this look was literally done in like five minutes. I did have a little bit of fallout with the um, black shade in the palette, which is what I used right here. This black one here I used um, to do the little wing on top of that little brown baby wing that I did. I got my Morphe setting spray here and my fan. All right, so I also want to put in some of my personal thoughts real quick too about this. So, Gosh, you know, everybody copies everybody. Everybody copies everybody on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. It is what it is. I mean, you can have a million followers. You could have 200,000 followers. You could have 100,000 followers. And you're going to copy somebody like, even like me, that has like, you know, that's like this like nobody with hardly any, you know, like YouTube doesn't even know I exist, you know, with the algorithms and the way it is. I mean, I see videos all the time of people that, you know, I've had their channel for five years and they've got videos out there that have maybe 50 views, if that. So it's just nobody finds them because there's just billions and billions of videos here on YouTube that, um, you know, unless you have, you know, a lot of views, your, your videos are never going to show up and nobody's ever even going to know you exist. So just from me making comments on, on things, you know, people have found me and I've had people even from other countries, people that have 200,000 followers copy me, you know, they've seen me use products, they've seen me use, you know, fans, they've seen, they've gone out and gotten them, they've seen me use, you know, certain palettes, they've gone out and gotten them, so, yeah, and, you know, uh, it's just, it is what it is, everybody copies everybody, I mean, top designers copy, you know, streetwear, um, urban, you know, um, musicians, I mean, everybody copies everybody, so, it is what it is. Um, it, it's good that, you know, you have something that's an affordable price point because I think this is like $42. Now it does come with a brush, of course. And this one is like $12 and then you can always get a discount, you know, like they always have discounts. So, um, you know, it is what it is. So it, you know, some people are all for it. They're like, well, you know, it's, you know, they, people want to be able to have, you know, products that maybe they don't want to pay $50 for. So there's that argument there. But then, you know, it's it's got to make, you know, the top brands, it's got to make them feel kind of pissed off. <laughs> I mean, for lack of a better word, I mean, for real. Because, you know, they're blatantly getting ripped off. Um, now... This brand here didn't put any um, shade names, um, but they clearly do state on their website that this is the Soft Glam dupe. Now, I have um, a whole bunch of other uh, stuff from Shop Hush that's blatantly, you know, copycatted off of, you know, the Pat McGrath ones and even um, Mario's um, collab that he did with the Anastasia. So I've got, and I'm going to have, and I've got the Too Faced dupes. I've got all of the, you know, some of the Makeup Revolution dupes. I've got a lot of the Face Candy. I've got the Bad Habit ones. So I've got a lot of um, dupes. And I am going to do a video on, you know, cheap makeup where I kind of show you guys all of those and talk about them. And literally some of them are really amazing, amazing palettes. So, um so yeah, that's it. Okay. I just wanted to kind of throw that in there. 
So it is what it is, and that's my personal thought. But as far as how this palette performed, absolutely no, no, no qualms, no issues. Um, blended beautifully, matte shimmers shine. The brushes worked great. So yeah, that's it. Hey guys, that's it for this video. Mwah. Love you guys. I will see you in my next one.